Hey YouTube, I'm back once again with some more pickups. Uh, this is going to be part two of February's pickups, although this won't be the last. Um, I am still waiting on uh, something, a few things to arrive. Um, both the pre-orders that come out February 22nd, which is tomorrow, been Sunday today, um, neither one's arrived. I was kind of hoping that at least the Zavi one would have got here. Alas, it hasn't. Um, the other one is coming from Amazon. Um, I didn't really expect that to get in until tomorrow, to be fair. Uh, and I'm also expecting a package uh, from a draw, prize draw that I won. So I'm really excited about that. Um, there might be a few of you out there that were watching that uh, live stream uh, earlier this week um, that already could already guess or already know what that is but uh for now i'll wait until that gets here um so yeah there's not quite as much here as the last video um my hmv order finally arrived um there's a couple of things off ebay some stuff off amazon and a couple of items from poundland that i got earlier in the week um so we'll start off with hmv maybe a cautionary tale um so if you watched the last video and maybe didn't get to the end of the last video i had a bit of a rant <laughs> and uh so I, I got some uh items from hmv some black label 101 films black label uh blu-rays from hmv that i ordered a fortnight ago today actually um and i just got enough to get the free postage uh, and they arrived I think by Thursday I think I got them on Thursday but the following day not on the the following day from the Sunday not the Thursday so on the Monday I'd had a, an email from PayPal um, saying if you uh, spend more than a hundred pounds on any one transaction we'll give you uh, four months interest free credit so I thought Ooh, sounds like a good idea um and i knew that i'd seen a couple more of these hmv uh these hmv these 101 films black label releases um all are not in the sale i thought maybe i've got enough to uh to get a good chunk of that hundred and then maybe i can just pre-order a few things just to get it over the top anyway when i finally added what i was wanting to get to my cart had over 90 pounds um which i thought i've done quite well here now these are all black label releases um and i don't think these are in any particular order um but this first one i've already opened so i got trespass um this been uh spine number five um the casting this is incredible um as you can see there i was uh i had heard of this but i've never seen it um but i opened it because once again i had a loose disc but also as well as a loose disc the case was broken as much as nice as these uh these cases look um I'm beginning to not like them because this is the third one that's broken this hub inside barely holds the disc um it's difficult to see taking the disc out so the top hub is uh is complete whereas the bottom hub is broken and this this disc was loose and nothing i could do would uh, reseat the disc uh, while it was sealed so i opened it up and yeah, the hub's broken, and this, that's, like I say, this is the third one of these that I've had now that's been like that. So, uh, yeah, I'm not overly impressed with these cases. They're a bit flimsy. See, it doesn't even clip in. But I'm happy with the release. I mean, I like all of these black label releases. I, I never bothered with them when the first when the first came out. I wasn't working, so I couldn't really justify buying them. And then they started going out of print, and I thought, oh well, there's no point now. 
Um, but I was shocked to find how many of these out of print releases H and V actually still had in stock. A lot of these you don't even find in uh, in in store anymore. Um, they do still have a few. Um, so yeah, Trespass. Um, this been the newest release. Only came out. Um, I think it came out the day I ordered it actually, two weeks ago. Yeah, Tammy the T-Rex, another one uh, film that I'd never ever heard of until this release was uh, announced. But I've heard so many good things about this, so I'm going to give this a watch, hopefully today actually. So yeah, I was happy with that. This is, the, like I say, the most recent one, Spine number 18, that comes from 1994. Now, another thing about this order, I, I don't know whether I mentioned this or not, um, I paid, because because I was spending £100, near enough, I paid for the expedited shipping. Whereas I didn't with the first order. Um, and what I didn't realise, that it was going to be sent um, via DPD. Now, I don't have a problem with DPD. I think they're, they're really good. One of the things I really love about them is that actually when the, uh, the day they deliver your item, they send you a message to tell you between within an hour when they're going to deliver, which is great. Um, but HMV sent this order out in two parts. So they sent five out together, which is the the parcel that came on Friday. And then later in the week, after the, after they posted the first part, they posted two more and they came within a few days. Um, and those two... I want to say, have I just shown one of them? No. There we go. I can tell which is which because of the uh, the number. They've got a number on the uh, on the sticker there. So that's tote number three. These these came separately, but together. Um, but they didn't come. They, they weren't posted out within the forty eight hours that they promised. But I got these quicker. Um, these came last weekend. So I got uh, the new kids, which is spine number 14. Um, again, a film I've never seen, but it definitely looks interesting. And the one and only film in this collection that I have very little to no interest in, to be fair. Um, and I wasn't going to get this, at least not from HMV, Black Book. Um, this is number number four. Yeah, Simply Fox there from 2006. So I'm not sure if it's the most recent in the, in the collection, but it's the most recent that, I'm not, that I know of. Um, yeah, like I say, I wasn't going to buy this from HMV, but when I got to check out with all the others, like I say, I was at uh, just over 90 quid. So this really took me over the £100 to get the um, four months interest free. So I've got four months to pay this lot off. So it's really only cost, going to cost me like 25 quid a month. Um, so I'm, I'm chuffed about that. Um, but like I say, yeah, this one uh, is the one that I'm least infused about watching. Um, but because it's a collection, I had to get it. I wasn't going to just yet. I would have at some point. Um, I have seen this one, but it was a very long time ago. Um, Grifters. But once again, you've got a pretty decent cast. Um, uh, John Cusack, uh, Angelica Houston, and honestly, I can't remember who the other one is. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm looking forward to watching that one again. This is a such a good movie. It's, again, it's one that I've not seen for a very long time. So we've got Brain Dead. Uh, this one being spine number. Oh, what is it with the focus on this? Spine number sixteen from nineteen ninety. So I'm looking forward to checking that one out once again. Um, this one I saw in HMV in Darlington a day or two before we went into lockdown. Um, but it was damaged, so I didn't grab it. Uh, split second with Rutger Hauer. This went out of print really quickly. Um, we've got uh, spine number 15. So this is a more recent one from 1992. I do have a 101 Films original release of this. Um, but like I say, it's part of the collection, so I'll grab this one. Yeah, the one I saw in HMV, it's somehow been 
scraped or banged or knocked or something and somewhere around here the plastic had been torn off um, and it had a, a graze or an indentation across the front cover um, as if as if something had been dragged across it and split the uh, split the plastic and dent the cover so in the end I put it back I thought I'll, I'll wait till I find another one and I'm glad I did now so that eventually they all got here so that's uh, what I got from HMV uh, for the 101 Films Black Label collection which means I now have every single one but three there are three left that I need to find uh, those being Roller Coaster Phase 4 and Existence Existence is that is that Existence, existence. I think that's it. Um, but those three seem to be the hardest to find. Um, even on CX, I think there's only one of those three available showing as the limited edition. There's the other two. It's a crab shoot on which version you get. Um, so yeah, they, may, might, they might be a little bit tougher to find. Even on eBay, um, roller coaster rarely seems to come up as the limited edition version although when it does i've looked at past auctions doesn't sell for a, i mean it sells for like 10 pound plus but not a huge amount over that unless it's buy it now but on auction they're, they're fairly cheap so i reckon i probably will find those three at some point but i think i've done okay cause like i say i've got those there and then the others are down there um it's only taken me I think I got the first one. Did I get the first one? Or did I already have one? No, I got the first one from CEX, which was Prom Night. Uh, and then after that, I got one at, uh, from was it HMV or Zavi. Might have been Zavi on Black Friday. And then I've, since Black Friday, I've... In fact, not even since Black Friday. It's only really in the last few weeks that I've got most of them. But yeah, I really like this collection. Right, moving on. Um, where do we go next? eBay, I think. Um, so I bought some art cards. Um, and the reason why is when I got this set, something I'd completely forgotten is when it was originally announced, I remember seeing, or should I say, I forgot that I'd seen that it came with art cards. And... I saw an unboxing video quite recently uh, and somebody had got the art cards. I'd, I'd seen one a while back before I got mine and it was a 4K version and I thought maybe it was just the 4K version that came with the art cards but then I saw this guy unboxing the Blu-ray version, the same one as mine, with the art cards. Um, which mine clearly didn't come with either one because I got if you, if you saw my other videos like this is the second one that I got the first one was damaged um, it didn't come with that card so I was looking on eBay just a week or so ago um, after I'd seen that unboxing and they've been selling people have been buying them for like 30 or 40 quid just for a set of art cards which was bizarre to me then I saw a set for 9 99 and I thought do I really want to pay a tenner and I was going to, and then one came up on auction, and I missed the end of the auction. And they came back on it. They come back on it five or six pounds plus three pounds postage, but there was a, a best offer, so I put in an offer for three pound, and I won. They accepted. So these were the art cards that came. Um, the postage was excessive. I think they wanted three pound postage, and they were only in an envelope. They weren't in a box or anything. Um, but at the same time, even at six pounds, I thought they were still. God, this does, does not want to come off. They were cheap enough. Oh, it should be struggle once again. It's a while since I've had a, a struggly time or something. There we go. So it it pretty much mirrors the uh, the artwork of the collection inside. Um, We've got the various zombies from the movie um, and they've got the tagline there which I think is the same yeah, on all of them. Um, I mean, there's only four art cards but uh, 
like I say, I totally missed the fact that they weren't in there when I got it. It turns out, I did a bit of research afterwards, um, and these were the cars were only available with this set if you bought it direct from Second Sight. So me getting this from Amazon, if you went from HMV or Zavi or any of those other retailers, they didn't come with these. So uh, yeah, I grabbed them. I was uh, I was happy about that. So last year I got two, yeah, two of my most wanted out of print Arrow Video box sets that I'd been looking for. Um, those being, of course, a beautiful Hellraiser set, and also up there the uh, Battle Royale. The original Battle Royale box set, which uh, there's another one coming out, which I'm not 100% sure whether I'm going to invest in that just yet. I know it's a bit expensive. Um, but there was one other that I've been actively looking for for quite a while, which I think after that was probably my second most wanted. Um, and late last year, they reissued it as a standard release blu-ray it's still the three movies but in a single blu-ray case um which kind of put the kibosh on me getting it from cex because as far as cex are concerned the original limited edition and the new release are the same item i don't know if they have the same barcode on or not but as far as i can say they're the same item so when you if i was to order one online there's no telling which version i would get anyway i found this one on ebay um, I think this was another um, best offer, and it's brand new and sealed. Uh, the American Horror Project Volume 2. So I'm very, very, very pleased that I've got this. Um, it was it was on auction starting at fourteen ninety nine, um, and I thought about just putting a bid in and and crossing my fingers um and hoping that nobody else did um but in the end i put in a best offer and i offered them 18 pounds and it was accepted so i'm really chuffed i mean who knows at 15 pounds i might have got it but i think there's just as likely somebody could have outbid me and by the end of the auction it could have sold for well over um, the £18 that I ended up paying for it so I'm very very happy about this I've got the first one which I've got and I did actually get from CEX um, either last year or the year before um, so they look awesome together um, the only difference well I mean obviously the artwork's different because it's different movies um, this one's got a lovely you know how I feel about J cards so this one's got a J card on it, whereas this one's just the box, which I prefer, obviously. Um, I don't see the point of a J card, because more people just rip them off. Um, so you might as well just print that on the actual box, instead of putting a card on that either gets ripped off, or through uh, putting on and off the shelf, eventually gets torn, or creased, or ripped, or... Not ripped and torn, um, or whatever, um, just gets damaged. So I don't see the point in them. Much prefer them without. So there we go, American Horror Project, Volume Two. Happy to grab that. Uh, then also off eBay um, last weekend, I think I got this. Uh, another eighty-eight films release that I've been after. Um, it's a limited edition, out of print, Swamp Thing, with the slipcase, this one again is sealed, um, it's only 7 99 it was on a buy it now, I couldn't believe it when I saw it, so I had to jump on that, uh, I'm not sure what the number is, but they're usually two to 3,000 these limited editions, um, I don't think it actually says on there, 
Um, but like I say, it's gone out of print, so I grab that. Then Amazon. A couple of weeks ago, I got this off Amazon. Uh, so this is a TV series from I don't know five, six, maybe seven years ago. Um, Utopia. So this is Utopia. Series 1 and 2, this is a German release, we never got Series 2 on Blu-ray in the UK. Um, I used to own Series 1, um, but I sold it because it was getting fetching good money. Um, and I've been looking for this for quite some time. Um, I see it on eBay occasionally, but on even on Amazon it's like 40 plus quid for this box set. Or you can usually get the individuals around about 25 quid a piece. Um, and then this appeared, I had it uh, saved on Camel 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 for a, uh, a price drop and I got a, a notification to say this has come on at £20.25 pence. so snagged it, I had to grab that. Um, so I'm very, very pleased. Um, I really enjoy this programme. Um, there is an American remake, I think is on Amazon, which I haven't checked out yet. Um, but I'm going to re, re I'm going to re-watch this one first. Um, I can't seem to keep focused today. Not me, the camera. Um, yeah, so Utopia, um, bit of a strange show, but uh, I really enjoyed it. Then finally, Poundland. I ended up in Poundland on Monday morning. I've been last week. I was on late, so every morning's free. Uh, and I decided on Monday. There was a few bits and bobs that I needed for work, you know, uh, you know, crisps and mints and sandwich fillers and that sort of thing. So I thought rather than go to the supermarket, I'll go to Poundland because I can have a look at the uh, the Blu-rays while I'm there. And although they had had a delivery, there was nothing new in the new Blu-rays. It was just the same old titles, but they had quite a lot of replay titles, uh, which are second hand and uh, replay titles at Poundland. You can get just about anything. Well, there could be just about anything. I mean, you're never going to get brand new releases. But um, the second-hand titles are usually different to the standard fare that they get in as new titles. So I grabbed a few. Um, there was a couple that I wanted for myself. I had, I already had slipcovers for both of these. Um, now these are both Disney, um, even though I'm not the biggest Disney fan, but one of them's a Pixar and the other one's a live action that I haven't seen. Um, so the first one I got was Brave 3D, which is a 3D one that I didn't have. I do have um, all but one of the Pixar collection in the uh, limited edition HMV sleeves, um, but the 3D version I didn't have except for the slipcover. So now I've got to put that in there. Got that one. And the other one. Maleficent. Again, I've not seen this one. Um, but I already had this uh, HMV exclusive. Another HMV exclusive. Um, Disney slip. Which I already have uh, all of the Car Pirates of the Caribbean movies with this style slip and recently i got the lone ranger as well so that's a another one to add to that collection but I had all sorts of others um but there was all stuff that uh, i already owned in hindsight i probably should have got the had um deadpool in a red case um which two pound is probably a lot for a red case but i could have traded in the movie for 80p so it would have only cost me £1.20 for the red case which isn't that awful to be fair um, I went back in yesterday um, after work and it wasn't there um, and there was nothing else worth getting so unfortunately I missed out on that so there we go that side and that I suppose uh, some more pickups for February not the Dawn of the Dead, but the art cards. Um, so all in all, I'm chuffed with that. Um, as much as I miss 
the car boot sales and the charity shops me not going round the car boot sales and the charity shops and picking up at the moment at least some uh, more quality items I think um, although I've spent way more this month than I really intended um, and of course buying those just means for the next few months I'm going to be a little less flush than I would have been because um, obviously I've got a I don't have to but I'm going to pay those off within the four months so I don't have to pay any interest on them um, but like I say I've got two items on pre-order which come out tomorrow there's another one I've got on pre-order but I don't think that comes out until March so that'll probably be part of March's pickups but I've also got um, that prize that I mentioned that's coming uh, hopefully we'll have that before the end of the month so I can do that as an end of month uh, uh, pickups video with the last of the, the items that I'm waiting for I don't think I've bought anything else that I'm waiting for um, I haven't actually looked I'm pretty sure there's nothing else on Amazon coming other than me pre-order and I haven't bought anything off eBay in the last few days so I don't think there's anything else left to come from eBay but who knows what I'll see during the week um, so there may be some more but um, the last of this month's pickups might be quite a short one but uh, yeah this one obviously hasn't been that short as usual um, what can we do for a, uh, a, a slogan this week um, for getting to the end okay how about J cards aren't cool if you got to the end of the video, if you got to this point in the video, um, and you feel like it, just comment below, J cards aren't cool. Um, yeah, that's going to be it for this one. So thanks very much for watching, and I will catch you next time. Ta-ra.